I'm Mike Porter with East Coast Yacht Sales, and I'm on board our new 2022 Serena 58. This is haul number 51. I just brought her off the ship from Turkey. It's a very special boat with a lot of custom features and personalizations that we've done to the boat. And the best part about her is that she's available for sale now, um, which is very rare in this market uh, with a lot, not a lot of inventory out there. So this is a boat that you could be cruising in the spring. So I'd like to show you around the boat, give you a walkthrough tour. Um, if you have any questions about Serena 58, hall number 51, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is below the video. So let's go take a look. All right, so I just jumped over across the dock here to get a nice look at the profile of the boat. You can see we've done a royal blue bootstripe, black bottom paint. Boat just looks super awesome. Um, I'll go on board and show you around a little bit. And right here on this palatial swim platform, we've got the first custom option we've done is added these big stainless steel bollards that are on the Serena 64 and the 88. And just a really nice, you can see we're using them already. A little bit better than the flip up cleat option. And back here we have the optional crew quarters. This is the single berth with the full head. We've got the toilet and this comes out, hangs up there for your shower. So it is a full wet head and you, it's a nice place with the swim platform right here. Um, swimming in and out of the water in the Bahamas or wherever, um, you can come right in here and rinse off um, or wash a dog off or anything like that. I mentioned taking a shower. We do have your hot and cold freshwater shower here right by the swim platform controls. Really nice, easy to access. And this is one of the most notable features of the Serena 58 is how large this aft cockpit space is. Um, this is something that really sets apart the boats is just this entertaining area out here. We've got basically a big dining table when you flip these two in. Um, really nice space to get some work done, have a cup of coffee in the morning or you know have a full dinner with six or eight people out here. Um, we've done the 64 and 68 style folding tables um, which makes it really easy to walk through the middle and sit down here slide this out and you've got the full dining table we'll head up to the bow here Got these beautiful wide walk around. Get a look at this sun pad here. We've added the middle piece for your sun lounge. These pop up lights are really clever. Love those. You do have the oversized locker with the separator for the anchor chain. Um, great spot for fenders, and you can put all types of stuff down there. Inflatable paddle boards. And then we do have these areas here to either side of the settee. We've got some covers stored in there, but lines, fenders, good deck storage. course full walk arounds on both sides with our side boarding doors here head right up to the fly bridge this is another thing that sets apart the Serena from others is this 
oversized extended flybridge. This area back here is just a total uh, amazing space. Most boats, the flybridge stops about here or maybe even further up um, to save weight. But since Serena builds with carbon fiber up here, um, it's quite a bit lighter than the competition, even with the larger space. We've got the nice electric Kenyan grill and sink, some storage below. And over here is a fridge. And as on all the Serenos, we've got this beautiful stainless steel shower here on the totem. Give you a look from back here, the whole flybridge. This U-shaped seating area is amazing. Just a really cool place to have a meal at the anchorage. We've got a couple 110 volt outlets that we've added um, for charging. Some more storage and an ice maker. This spot here to starboard of the helm is one of my favorite places on the boat. It's just a really cool place to sit with your legs crossed, read a book um, while you're cruising. Of course, the double stid helm seats and our big Garmin plotters there. This one down below is our engine display. And we'll head down below. I just love this galley aft. It's really cool to have this space as one with that exterior table out there. So when you're entertaining guests, you can come inside the boat and not feel like you're you know, in a totally different area than your guests. Um, make a sandwich here with people sitting out in the cockpit and going swimming. It's just a really, really cool place. Up top here are our main engine breakers, uh, engine service battery and engine room lighting. Those are our main, main battery switches. We've got our Fusion Bluetooth radio there. Miele fridge and the freezer with an ice maker down below. We've got some storage here. And we have done a cool thing here on this boat. We've got some extra galley storage here with our drawers, pots and pans. And this is where the washer dryer typically goes on a boat. So since it's not back in the crew quarters, I'm sure you're wondering where that goes, and I will show you in a little bit. Um, Miele dishwasher, a nice uh, spice rack there. Oven, got the four burner induction stove with the vent hood above. Really nice storage. Double basin, stainless steel sink. This high-low table is great. See, it's at dining height right now, and I'm gonna lower it down to coffee table height. This does drop all the way down, folds and opens up, and we have a custom filler piece for this, so you can make this into a berth really easily. It takes about two minutes. Um, and just allows for an extra sleeping space on board the boat, which is really superfluous, um, but, but cool. Um, we already have three staterooms, three heads with a crew quarters and a fourth head back aft. Um, and to add this as another place for a couple to sleep in the salon is pretty clever. So very similar helm to up top. We've got our Volvo Penta throttles here, bow and stern thruster. Um, these are progressive, so I can feather it in and out. It's not either on or off like most thrusters are. Really cool feature. We've got our searchlight, uh, anchor chain, uh, windlass with the counter. Um, this is our autopilot, the Humphrey trim, trim tabs, interceptor trim tabs, 
engine ignition. This is our uh, Seakeeper display. Um, depth and temp sensor. Here's our engine gauges, compass, our two huge Garmin displays. You can see the sight lines are really nice here. And then over here to port, we've got a couple different, um, you know, our windshield wipers and, and uh, different um, switches there. You do have the couple, couple cup holders and the uh, Garmin uh, touchpad. These will control the helm so you don't have to reach forward and use the touchscreen if you don't want, um, as well as our Victron inverter display and a 110 outlet. This window does open. This is great for docking. If it's cold out, you're docking down here. Uh, you can open this window. Um, there's nice storage under these seats here. And our breaker panel here right at the helm. Really nicely located there. And then quite a bit more storage up here as well. Over to starboard we have a media cabinet. This is a nice custom edition and our flat screen Samsung TV comes out there on the lift. Take a look at that salon with the double doors opening into the half cockpit. We have done these custom handholds up above. Really nice for underway and heavy weather. And we'll head down below. And we'll go forward into the VIP. This is a great room here. Tons of space. Big flat screen Samsung TV. And it's got two large hanging lockers here. And a full enchilada here in the bathroom. We've got the rain shower, full shower stall. Got these awesome teak, raw teak floors. Some nice storage on either side. We've got 110 volt outlets, both sides. Each room here has their own air conditioning uh, controls. So individually, you can control each room and we've got our day head here to starboard and this is a day head annex as a bathroom for the third stateroom so we do have a toilet in here and the shower head and it is a wet head so we've got um, your uh, shower sump is down low there um, and access into the third stateroom we'll go out from the other end here And in here to the third stateroom. This is the custom edition on this boat that I'm really proud of. Uh, this provided us with a great spot to put a washer and dryer. So we've got our combo unit here, washer and dryer combo, and we have room up top if you wanted the separate units and give up this uh, extra hanging locker space, we can do the stacked melee washer and dryer here. Um, and it is pre-plumbed, pre-vented to the outside so you can have a vented dryer unit, which is a total game changer if you're a, the person that's gonna be doing laundry on your boat. Um, and we were still able to fit this um, pretty oversized twin berth. It's not quite a full berth, uh, a little smaller than a full. Um, two smaller people can sleep in there, but it's probably best for a single berth. Um, and we've got our hanging locker here. And got the TV there as well. And the best part of the boat, master stateroom back here. Humongous, 
really awesome space. And like I mentioned before, it's just so comfy back here. It's lower in the boat, further aft, and um, just quite, quite nice to uh, spend a night, even in a rough anchorage or a busy marina, kind of out of the way here. I've got a big Samsung flat screen TV here framed with a leather frame and these big windows. Very cool. <clears throat> On both sides we have full size his and hers closets. This is our uh, filler piece for up in the salon. Show you this one on the other side here too. This side has the safe in it. So we've got the nice safe. And the vanity. And the master head. We've got our Tecma toilet there. Teak decks. And this oversized stall shower with the teak seat in it. And of course has the plain shower head up above. We've got some extra storage back here, medicine cabinet, towels, and three big drawers down below. Really love the custom LEDs under the beds and the settees up in the salon. And the uh, richer walnut woods throughout. Just love the feel of this boat. The color scheme really works. It's just so wide and open that uh, you get just such a good view of the boat. Uh, we didn't talk about this. This is our side access door here. It's a semi-automatic uh, Opak Mare door. Opens up. It does lock into place so I can have nice access to the side decks here when docking. In and out there. And when I close it, all I do to latch it is just pull it closed. That does the rest. It's fully waterproof and I can lock that from the inside as well. Let's check out the engine room. This is the good part. These boats are set up, even with the crew quarters, they are set up to be owner operated. Um, so we do put a, uh, a whole lot of weight into this space down here. Um, if you're gonna be doing some of your own maintenance and at least some troubleshooting, uh, this area needs to be accessible and easy, which as you can see, amazing access to both sides of both engines, drives, everything's really easily accessed, really nicely laid out. You can see all the wiring there. It's just beautiful. We've got the Volvo Penta D11 670 horse inboard diesels, and they're a bit smaller than the Caterpillars that um, we put in before in terms of the volume, but we actually get uh, 20 more horsepower out of them. Those were 650s. Um, so this is a better power to weight ratio, and um, the boat really runs uh, nicely with these. She burns about 50 gallons an hour at cruise speed, um, which is somewhere between, you know, 17, 18 knots while you're while you're running. We've got dual ray cores here for each engine. We've got this is our aircon chiller and booster pump back there. That's the Glen Denning shore power reel. Some of the steering gear, uh, engine room camera from Garmin up there. We do have a backup camera on the uh, on the transom. Uh, check out the swim platform while you're running as well. 
or your dinghy that you've got back there. Battery chargers, breakers. This is our nice big Cummins Onan Gen Set. Um, this will run basically everything on the boat. We do have these nice um, manual sight gauges here so we can see the fuel level. Um, if we have an issue with our digital gauges at the helm, we can always come down here and check those. And this hump here forward, this is our Seakeeper stabilizer. Um, these gyro stabilizers are amazing, work really well uh, if you're in a rough anchorage or even if at, at a rough dock um, and at slow speeds. The form stability of the hull takes over once we're going faster than you know, 10, 12 knots, but um, you know, those are great for harbor cruises and you know, watching sailboat races in Newport or whatever. If you have any questions about the Serena 58 hull number 51 or any of the other Serena models, please feel free to call, text, or email me. My contact information is just below the video. Thanks for watching.